if I'm assuming your answer is the same. Uh, I mean, do you, from what you hear, do you think today is definitive in terms of where the franchise goes from here? Um, it, it certainly clears up the picture, I think, uh, in terms of a lot of the ambiguity of, of the situation. Um, whether the vote passes or not, it, it'll, it'll allow um, some decisions to be made to either progress or, or not. So I think from that perspective, it's, it's good to have some, some light shed on what's going on. Sure. As a hometown guy playing for his team, um, how unsettling would that be for you to move to Austin? Well, look, I mean, I'll reiterate what I've said for the past nine months. It's, it's one of those things where as a professional athlete, you're, you're accustomed and ready to move at, at any moment. Um, for the city of Columbus, if it moves, obviously it would be a devastating thing um, in terms of um, the fans we have here, the people that have grown up with it. Um, not even just myself, obviously, but um, yeah. there's, there's tons and tons of people that um, this club means a lot to them. So if it moves, like I said, it'll be devastating for them. To me, uh, it's not just the crew. Uh, this, for many years, has been, to me, the spiritual home of U.S. soccer. And to, to lose, perhaps, that niche as well is another byproduct. Sure, sure. Um, the Dos Cicero, all the, the legendary games that we've had at, at Moffrey Stadium um, mean a lot to U.S. soccer as well. But um, the evolution of this sport um, won't be forgotten with the history of, of what's happened at um, that stadium. So, either, either way. We're 10 months in. I mean, you're prepared for anything, I guess. Absolutely. we got to keep moving. we got to keep moving forward. We have a big game on Sunday, um, and, and I think we've done an, an excellent job of just being focused on our season and continuing to get better every week. How do you think you've handled juggling the on-the-field and off-the-field as you kind of reflect a little bit on everything that you've been through these last 10 months? Like, how do you think you've handled it? I think we've handled it extremely well, um, better than most people would probably expect it. Why do you think that's been the case? I think it, it comes from, from Greg and, and the way in which he's approached it and, and allowing us to just focus on what our job is. And our job is to play soccer. Um, and, and that has been our sole purpose since the announcement was made last year and until this point today. What's it been like, the, the fan support that you guys continue to receive, even as things have been challenging? Yeah. I mean, people are still coming out and you still have people to care. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the reality of, of this club and what it means to people. Um, they care. We're doing everything we can to win games um, and, and continue to allow them an outlet in which they find hope and, and everything like that. So soccer is, is a wonderful game like that.